Welcome to Heaven's Kitchen, where we make the most delightful, most exquisite, most scrumptious food on the face of the earth. Unlike Hell's Kitchen, we like to incorporate love and kindness into our cooking. And that's what you'll see today on Heaven's Kitchen. How do we start Heaven's Kitchen? Well, it's very simple. I was on season 27 of Hell's Kitchen. I thought, this ain't it. So I came to my own kitchen and I started my own show. And here we are in Heaven's Kitchen, making the most exquisite, most delicate, most delicious food on the planet. How did I get into Heaven's Kitchen? Well, see, I'm a, I was a butcher at this, this little flea market, this butcher shop, and people bring all their chickens and pigs and stuff in there. I cook them up for them. There's this white van that pulled up outside of the door. He's like, hey, you want to be a part of this show? I was like, on TV? And he's like, yeah. So everybody's like, you want to be on TV and you get your 15 minutes of fame. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting my 15 minutes of fame. But um, I'm ready to make some food and impress the judge. I have IBS and that makes cooking very difficult sometimes. A lot of customers don't appreciate the fact that I have IBS and I feel discriminated against. So I'm here to change that, that norm. Chefs, today you're going to be making me a nice cold drink for a hot summer's day. So today I decided to use one of my grandma's recipes. It was passed down from my great grandma, great great grandma. She came over on the boat actually. Every day, you know, we come over, she'd be like, oh, you guys need something cold to drink? It's a hot summer day. And we're like, yeah, grandma, to make all the time. So today I'm going to make water. I'm looking for creativity. I'm looking for originality. All right, chefs, time is on the clock for one hour. All right, one hour on the clock. Sweet. I'm gonna start by getting the water boiling on the stove. This is actually uh, how my grandma always made it. Take a cup of water, just your regular tap water, in there. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna take some regular water. And you're gonna make sure you microwave that. Uh, while that's cooking, you can then get out some uh, your next ingredient. Some regular imported ice. I can't help but notice that you don't exactly have a drink yet for your shaved ice. Um, actually, the best method is to let the ice age after you're cutting it. Right. So right. that way it brings out the best, best coldness, the best right. flavor. Now that I added some ice to this water, you'll know, make sure it's all. All right. So that's all mixed up. You're gonna want to strain it. Just get all those nice particles out. Next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna shave some ice. But well, he does seem to have a direction some way that he's going, don't you think so? I agree. Got I need another, I need a pack of ice. Make sure. Uh, this is a very delicate process. <laughs> Everything will be okay. You're burning it. There's no more ice left. I don't know what to do. Oh, more ice. This is what really makes it special, Grandma always told me. Um, I swirl it around. So Grandma would always make it a little extra strong. So we just put... This is Arabic ice. Uh, you can't just get that anywhere. Looking good, looking good. So you wanna make presentations everything too. So you wanna make sure your glass is nice and clean. My grandma always did, she made a big pot. This is a smaller size. Uh, mom had 20 kids, so you know we always, couldn't just do one little pot of water. You had to do a big pot. 20 children, goodness gracious. I can't imagine, can you? Um, some of this stuff can be strong, uh, so you wanna be careful. Don't anybody drink water and drive, you know? What do you mean you have to go to the bathroom too? You're a bloody pineapple. She's gonna take a regular garden tomato, cut it. Just like that. You're a pineapple. I'm going mad. We're almost out of time. Get that back in there. Oh. Time. No! Uh, that looks exquisite. I can't wait to taste it. Grandma's water.
Your presentation looks nice. I will admit that. I like what you've done with the spray bottle, like spraying down the side of the glass just to make it more, you know, appetizing. Now, what exactly is this drink called? It's water. Cheers. I will admit, cherry tomato, it does a lot for it. Mm. Yes, I do agree. It does look quite exquisite. No, he did. No, he didn't. Well, I did see him messing with the microwave. We agree on it. All right. Now, seeing as how you are the only contestant, it's my duty to award you with the winner of the first season of Heaven's Kitchen. Congratulations. Forgot to put it in the toaster. <laughs>